This is the rainforest exhibit I built from a custom aquarium's amphibious aquarium. The dimensions are five feet wide by four feet deep by five foot tall. When I started this project, I was looking for a, a reputable company that uh, made, had, a, had a great reputation good quality uh, craftsmanship in their in their fabrication processes and more importantly how to be made of glass. The uh, paludarium area, the uh, aquarium area uh, is about 55 to 60 gallons of water. The exhibit itself actually is, uh, is about 750 gallon by volume if this was a sealed aquarium which is not because it has solid uh, it has sliding uh, front doors but the area from 12 inches down is watertight. There's actually a piece of glass that runs right behind the ruins and these fake rocks that keeps the water uh, only on this side. I didn't want to have all the land area have water underneath it because that was going to make the seamless sump filter have to filter water where the majority of it is under land. So it would have been a waste of, uh, of cleaning. So I made the area uh, set, uh, set apart from the land area, which a lot of people let it flow underneath, and uh, I've uh, kept it just to this area. The water is, uh, is, uh, comes through the H2 overflow from uh, Custom Aquariums uh, into the seamless sump, and then goes through the, the uh, waterfall, two different areas, a stream and the waterfall area, and flows this way. Now you can tell by the size that of course it's big, but I had so many details uh, in the fabrication of uh, the rainforest exhibit that it had to be exactly right. If I got them wrong, I would have problems with, well, ventilation, with uh, water flow. I came back to custom aquariums with a lot of changes during the process, a lot of ideas that I had in my mind, and custom aquariums uh, uh, just rolled with it, helped me out tremendously. If I gave them an idea, they went back to the blueprints and fixed it for me, sent it right over to my email, and it was taken care of. So it, it could have been messed up in so many different ways, and it came out perfect. All right, so like I said, that uh, the whole structure is based off high-density foam. It's not a soft uh, foam. You could actually stand on it. It wouldn't break, uh, uh, break apart. Um, but uh, it's also, the driftwood is also part of the, uh, the uh, growing media uh, uh, for the base for the moss and the plants. I have, um, it's, like I said, it's been about a year and uh, it, the growth of the plants has exploded. Uh, a lot of the moss is growing on the driftwood that I, I planted. I do move a lot of bromeliads around because as you can see, it, some of the pups are Almost every plant in here has been growing pups, and I started with about 34 of them, and now I've got over 100 vermilions uh, to date. Uh, when I opened the crate and I felt the quality, looked at the quality of it, it was unbelievable. It was way better than anything I've seen before. It was built so well. The bevels on the glass, the, the, everything was solid as a rock. It was just perfect. And uh, also the way that it was shipped to me, I was worried how huge of a, of a product, and it's all glass, anything could happen, but it was packaged and shipped in your crate perfect. Everything was set out just the way that you would want a product costing so much money to be set out. The, um, I use uh, fake rock and painted it all. This kind of black from Bavarian Works. It comes black and I painted it. Uh, I, I used to paint uh, concrete in, uh, for zoo exhibits. And I use that technique for the rocks. And I also, uh, here, this is a fake rock, volcanic rock. And um, I have a leaf litter base with a uh, uh, gravel growing media. And there's also fake ruins buried in, inside the uh, soil and all through the, this right side of it with the water that comes down through a, uh, an inlet, uh, the uh, outlet of the, uh, from the sump filter down to a, a mid-level here into a pool and then splashes down 
to the base and then flows forward. And there's also a two horsepower pump that fill, uh, feeds this stream here as well. So there's two pumps, two different uh, areas. I want it so that the, uh, any frogs or animals wanted, they could go into this area and not worry about the flow of the current, and which they can then get to from that area. Okay, so. I come from a, a zoo exhibit design and fabrication background. I've worked at a lot of zoos across the United States. And to me, this was a zoo quality exhibit. I mean, it was something that you would easily see in a, in a zoo or a uh, nature center. Very well made, very heavy duty. The difference between this and an acrylic tank or something that you would buy already produced is, oh, well, there's no comparison. There's 15 water nozzles from the Miss King system, and it also has a ultrasonic humidifier that I usually let run maybe about two or three hours a day. It gives it a great effect and, uh, and also keeps everything pretty moist, and it still, it still allows uh, for uh, some of the bromelias to dry a little bit so it's, they're not totally soaked all the time. Uh, I have ventilation fans on the side that actually when the ultrasonic humidifier is on, uh, when I turn the fans on, you could see the airflow, uh, which it totally ventilates the whole system. I produce custom artwork, and I've had clients express to me that they were worried that they were going to get something of quality at the end of, at the, end of the day. And Once they receive it, those fears are, are gone. They realize that they did get something not only that met their expectation, but exceeded it. So I understand how somebody who is buying an expensive enclosure uh, would be, have the same concerns. I can assure you that not only will it uh, meet your expectations, just like with my seekers, it exceeds your expectations. The quality is unmatched. So when you're looking at, at the rainforest exhibit, you, you notice like land areas and levels and ledges, uh, but everything is, is supported by a high density foam platform and which has basically pillars all along the, the the base of it and you can see that in one of the earlier vlogs how I did that but the high density foam is not only on the bottom like a table that holds up the structure the high density foam ruins support structure the high density foam cave and uh, and well, I call it tri-level area also holds up a uh, the soils, uh, uh, ABG mixtures, uh, the mosses, and the plants. Uh, I have one green tree frog in here. We're going to have a total of three when I'm com when completed. We have two morning geckos in here, and I, I heard that they breed and go crazy uh, laying eggs. So I wanted to see how that would happen. It hasn't happened yet, uh, but they're in here. But the main focus of the uh, rainforest exhibit was going to be the golden poison frogs, uh, Philobates uh, uh, terribilis. We have them in a custom aquarium, 75 gallon cube vivarium uh, in the back here. And I wanted to wait till they were at least two inches in size. We have five, I was gonna get seven, but I think five was a, a better number. They'll jump around and they'll just barely catch your eye and it won't be overpowering except for the whole exhibit together when you see it. There's so many different things you can do with this, and it's, uh, it's uh, pretty cool, actually. Especially with the size, you have so much space to basically do whatever you want. So that's what I did on this. Thank you uh, so much to Customer Aquariums for partnering on this with me. Uh, the Rainforest exhibit has totally exceeded my expectation in the finished product, and uh, I, c I couldn't be any more happier.